Welcome to our IPv6 static routes lab. This is our topology, so please pause the video if you just need to check out the addresses. They look very similar. The uh, last um, last part is all the C's, all the D's and all the E's, depending on which network we're uh, using. We've got a loopback interface on the left-hand router, router 1, and a loopback interface on the right-hand router, router 2. Now I've actually already configured these IP version 6 addresses to save time in the lab and I covered how to do IP version 6 addresses in another lab earlier on. So you can see these are the addresses I've added. All the interfaces are up because I know shutted the fast ethernet. You don't need to know shut um, loopback interfaces of obviously because they're logical. I'll do a show IP version 6 interface. I actually should have put brief on the end of that just to save a bit of space. And you can see uh, our two IP version 6 global addresses configured on router 2. So I'm going to look at two ways of adding static routes using IP version 6. Now because of the length of the addresses I find it useful to cut and paste addresses. With IP version 4 obviously it's pretty quick just to type them out but because they're uh, longer and uh, therefore easier to make a mistake. I do like to cut and paste. So router 1, I'm um, copying the loopback address here and we're going to configure a static route on router 2 so we can get to the network off the uh, loopback on router 1. So back in the command line, go into config mode. This is all on GNS three by the way. IPv6 route. Now we're going to is the first part. Which network or host are we going to? And I'm just going to take the host address off and do the entire network. I could do a host route, but I want to reach the entire network. I type question mark and we've got uh, several choices of interface. Obviously we've got a fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 attached. We want to put the link local address on because if we're using an exit interface, we need to add the link local address of the next hop. Otherwise our static route won't work. So I've pasted that in, I've got it from router 1 and I've pasted it in. Next thing to do is test to see if this static route has worked. Obviously before you do that you want to ping between router 1 and router 2 anyway. So ping, put in the IP address I want to ping. Which again I'll cut and paste from router 1. So I've pasted in the loopback address, press enter and that ping has been successful. So we know our static route has worked. Now on router 1 I'm going to configure a static route to get to the loopback network on router 2 but I'm going to do it in a different way. So default route, any uh, traffic for any network, so I've signified all the zeros here, the IP version 6 way of doing it. I could use the next hop, but I'm going to do an exit interface here. So I'll find the next hop address. Copy that. So to get to anywhere, go via this next hop address. And I'm going to ping the IP address of loopback0 on router 2. And that ping has been successful. Do a show IP version 6 route. And you can see at the top there, I've got a static route configured.
and it's going via our next hop address on router 2. Show IPv6 route on router 2. And you can see we've got a static route going out of Ethernet 0 via the link local address.